Okay, while well, I wish I was in the jungles in Singapore, I'm actually at home in Southern California right now, which is a good thing because I'm home with my family and uh, snake season has begun. So, uh, yeah, let's go have a look. So I'm pretty excited right now. I'm approaching my first stop, and uh, yeah, I got that uh, anxious feeling, you know, butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly why. I don't know if you guys have that feeling too, but uh, when you're ready to get out and find something, it uh, sure feels good. Anyway, uh, all right, let's go. Uh, Weather-wise today, it's relatively cool for Southern California. I think it's 60 degrees, maybe 61, and uh, yeah, partly cloudy as you can see. And it's still early in the season for snakes. We've had almost no rain this year, so uh, things are gonna be dry. And that's not good. You can see all the old, dried up, dead mustard from last year. And uh, yeah, it's sort of a pain to walk through. All right, so here we go. First board of the season for me in Southern California. Will I get lucky right off the bat? Nope, little mouse. All right, it's not gonna be that easy. Sometimes these rocks hold a few surprises. Sometimes those surprises come in the form of black widows, so you gotta be a little careful. Nope. Oh, it's so dry. We've had no rain, really. I mean, it definitely shows. All right, gonna keep looking, though. All right, so far, this is the only thing I've managed to flip. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Stay still young. Ah, oh, come on, give me a king. Maybe he's having better luck than I am. All right, so, uh, yeah, whole lot of nothing so far. Gonna move to a different spot and see what I can find there. All right, let's go. I gotta say, it's really strange making videos in the car because uh, I'm holding the camera out here and everybody around me is looking at me like, uh, what the hell are you doing and uh, who do you think you are or uh, I don't know you get some really really weird uh, weird stares so uh, I guess it's part of the deal okay so spot number two. Oh, look at that first flip Southern Pacific rattlesnake look at that what a beautiful one too look at the colors on this one they're all a little bit different in coloration and this one is just stunning. Real light colored. Lots of little banding. And I'm not going to move him, I'm just going to leave him where he is. I'm guessing he's probably about two feet long, you know, shy of a meter. What a great find. Here's a shot from behind him a little. And he's just relying on camouflage right now. He's not going to move. And I really don't want him to move. So I'm going to cover him back up and uh, see if I can't find something else, but uh, <laughs> great start, great finish. I don't know. It's a great start. Hopefully I find some more. Okay, super stoked. Second spot and uh, first flip, Southern Pacific Rattlesnake. Let's keep going. Oh, little king snake. Look at that. How sweet is that? Little banded king. I'm not going to bother him. I'm just going to leave him where he is. See plenty of king snakes, but that's my first king of 2018. Sweet little banded king. Size-wise, he's only like a foot long, not very big. And he's gonna probably find this crack, and he did. And that's where he's gonna go. Sweet. All right, there we go, second board and a king snake. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day, let's keep looking. 
Oh, little mouse. There he goes. Nope. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, it's a little ring neck snake now. I wouldn't normally grab this. Uh, I was a little confused when I first flipped it, to be honest. This is probably the biggest ring neck snake I've ever seen. And that puts him in about a foot and a half long, maybe. And he really must all over me like they typically do. Okay, he's kind of gone into the play dead mode. And I'll see if I get him off my hands if he'll stay that way. You can see his tail all coiled up. And I'll follow his body along. And a nice kind of a slate grayish color on top. And he's going to probably start to move here in a second. Here comes the tongue. And he's going to flip back over. And be on his way. Sweet find. Oh, I love ringneck snakes. As common as they are in some areas, they're just, I don't know, they're just super cool snakes, I think. If they were about three feet long or four feet long, they'd really be cool. All right, so snake number three, ringneck snake. And uh, to be honest, when I flipped it, I wasn't exactly sure what it was. It was, uh, it was probably the biggest, it is the biggest ringneck snake I've ever seen. So, uh, all right, got a few more things to look under. Let's take a look. All right, come on. Give me one more snake. Oh, another king snake. Look at this. Nice little banded one. And I'm not going to pick him up either. I see king snakes quite a bit. They're one of my most common finds, really. And this one's a typical banded king, just like the other one. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to let him do his thing. He's going to probably find a hole to go down here in a second. But, yeah, sweet snake, huh? Oh, I love these little guys. All right, I'm a little out of breath. Sorry about that. I've been walking up a hill here, but uh, yeah, three snakes, four snakes, four snakes, right? Yeah, Southern Pacific rattlesnake, two king snakes, and that uh, a large ringneck snake. So uh, four snakes on a February day here in Southern California. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you.